What's up friends and welcome back to the channel. So when it comes to picking out a CGM, there are a lot of companies that you can choose from, but really only one option when it comes to the actual sensor. That is up until now. Levels actually just introduced the new Dexcom G6 onto their platform. You know, the one that Peter Atia and that younger Jonas brother, I forget his name, Steve maybe, <laughs> has been wearing and they've been raving about, well, long before CGMs became a trendy arm accessory. And well, I actually recently had the chance to test it out to see for myself what this G6 is really all about. And of course, how it compares to wearing the Freestyle Libre on all things like accuracy and comfort. Yes, I uh, did wear both sensors at the same time. And yes, I did get a lot of strange looks at the gym. So in this video, we're gonna go over all the information you need to know about the Dexcom before getting started, including a little bit of my own saga slash experience and a string of kind of stupid mistakes I made and how you can avoid them. Maybe that was not, oh, well, it's there. It is. It's totally there, guys. Uh, I can't get that off now. From there, we're gonna cover some of the biggest differences that I noticed between the two sensors, your Dexcom and your Libre. And then finally, we will wrap things up with a quick look at pricing. And of course, we'll talk about some of the big updates Levels actually made to their platform this year. Spoiler alert, no more wait list. Awesome. So let's get to some unboxing. Now, don't be alarmed when you open up the Levels box with your Dexcom to find, well, just a ton of stuff. We're talking three applicators, a transmitter, and really all the medical paperwork you could ever ask for in life. So step one, as per usual, wash and dry your hands. Now, this is not medical advice really just reading this right off the sheet. But for the most part, really the insertion process itself, it is fairly straightforward. It's very much like the Libre, except for where you can stick it. On the stomach? Kona, does that mean I have to take off my shirt? Now, I did uh, make the mistake of putting it a little too close to the muscle instead of that softer part of my belly. I'm really glad I had that burrito for lunch. Oh, that's already there. Okay, I, I hope this is the right place. Shit. So don't do that. And even though the Dexcom recommends the stomach, it is also technically medically cleared to be worn on the upper arm, just like the freestyle. Just make sure to avoid the muscles, the bones, and tattoos. Yep, that's, that's a new one. So uh, once you've got the sensor on, all that's really left to do is to snap the transmitter in place. Sounds like a piece of cake, right? Except, well, the second time around, I accidentally got distracted talking to someone. For some reason, people always ask you about CGMs, no matter what you're doing. And <laughs> well, didn't quite do it right. And then couldn't get that transmitter out. So I had to rip the whole sensor off. There were tweezers involved, lots of sweating. It was a whole mess. So. Note to self, note to you, avoid that one too. But assuming that you did everything right, the last part of the setup is of course the phone connection. And so for this, you're gonna need to install two apps. Well, the Levels app, if you don't already have it installed, and of course the Dexcom G6. And then you're gonna want them to talk to each other to sync the data. I'm not gonna go through all of that, guys. I will include the instructions in the show notes below. But one important thing to mention, you must have Bluetooth turned on for your phone in order to receive the data from your CGM to the Levels app. So the transmitter runs on a Bluetooth connection. That means if you turn your phone off for any length of time or you go on a hike for a couple hours, you leave your phone behind, you might run into some gaps with your data. So just be mindful of that. Now the Libre on the other hand, we'll cover this in a second, but that runs on NFC instead of Bluetooth. Hence why I have to do the scanning. So some people might prefer that, but you can also run the risk of losing data if you say forget to scan one day. So really no system is 100% perfect, but we'll cover that more in just a sec. But before we get there, 
Let's quickly go over just a couple more things that you might wanna know about the Dexcom before getting started. Let's talk stomach versus arm. Now, I personally found it kinda uncomfortable to wear the Dexcom on my stomach. I, it got in the way of my pants, especially those compression pants, do not recommend. And it just didn't really feel great doing any type of ab workouts like crunches. So for me, I prefer the arm, although I gotta say it's much less discreet since it does take up a lot of retail space, but hey, it is what it is. And if people ask you questions, it's kind of a cool conversation starter, so there's that. Another thing to know is uh, whatever you do, don't throw out that transmitter. I know it is very easy to do, had a couple close calls, but listen, the, the transmitter itself is reusable and you can use it on the other two sensors you get. And let's say for some reason you're not doing back-to-back -back testing, just remember where you put your transmitter because it is very tiny and could get easily lost. Or better yet, it could accidentally get chewed up by Kona. For the record, he did not chew it up, just in case you were wondering. Now you also might be wondering, well, why do you get two sensors with the Libre, but three for the Dexcom? And that's because the Dexcom sensors only last you 10 days versus 14 with the Libre. So, Technically speaking, you get two extra days of sensing for the same exact price with the Dexcom, or uh, more if you account for the fact that sometimes the Libre can uh, give out around day 12, in my experience. Moving on to accuracy. And what I'll say is a kind of a blanket statement here, and that's CGMs, they are absolutely, undoubtedly a powerful tool. They can really be great for understanding and assessing your metabolic health, nutritional needs, etc. But they're not perfect. Even the Dexcom, which, you know, some studies have shown to be like a fraction more accurate than the Libre, it's not without its flaws, but for what it's worth, I saw a little bit more consistency in my Dexcom data across the board from its position on my stomach to the arm. Whereas with the Libre, again, this is just going off of my own data. There were a little bit of bigger discrepancies in my daily averages when I moved it from the left arm to the right arm. But the point here is that these numbers can fluctuate depending on your CGM location. So I would say maybe don't get too hung up on your exact measurements, especially when you're first starting off. Do a finger prick test just as a backup test because Sometimes the Libra needs to be manually calibrated. That's not the case with the Dexcom, it auto calibrates. But before we get there, I wanted to share just a couple more findings with my side-by-side -side measurements because I don't know, I love data. Interestingly enough, the average difference in my daily glucose levels between the two sensors was about seven points. So really low. Now this is when I had the Libre on my left arm the traditional spot, and the Dexcom on my stomach, the traditional spot. But what's crazy is that number, that average number, doubled when I moved the Libre to my right arm and the Dexcom to my left arm. And then with that, I was surprised to see that my daily averages for the Libre were actually a lot higher. Again, muscle may have played a factor here, but this was just something I observed and maybe something for you guys to think about when deciding where to apply your CGM. So now that we've touched on the Dexcom basics and some of my observations around my own data, let's turn to the pros and the cons of each sensor. So hopefully you guys can get a better sense of which one might be a better fit for you. So starting with the Dexcom, and I guess the biggest appeal here for probably a lot of people, certainly me, is this real-time glucose monitoring. So if you are the kind of person that doesn't like to scan your CGM every couple of hours, or you're like me and you sometimes forget, then the Dexcom, it could be a great option because there is no manual scanning involved. And in fact, the calibration process, that's all automatic as well. So there is no jumping back and forth between different apps to sync your data, it's all happening automatically in real time. Now, I also like that you have a couple of different options for where you wanna wear it. So you can do it on your arm or your stomach, maybe your left arm, right arm, depending on comfort, of course. Now, my default is the arm, but I do think it's great that you at least have a choice 
so you can be able to change it up from time to time. You'll also notice that the needle on the Dexcom, that's a bit thinner and more flexible than Libre. I mean, this thing was so small, it was almost impossible to film. It is like a strand of hair, which apparently has been designed to make the insertion process virtually painless. Now, if I'm being frank with you guys, I couldn't really tell a difference. Then again, I have a pretty high threshold for pain, so probably not the best person to talk about this. <laughs> but then of course, there is data points. Now, with the Dexcom, you do get significantly more glucose readings throughout the day, hands down. So that, coupled with this built-in alarm feature, could make the Dexcom a really great option for people who want that kind of data, lots of data, or who also have a high risk for spikes. Now, all that being said, the Libre also has its perks, and you might wanna to choose to go with that one if, say, maybe you're concerned about EMFs and you prefer that Libre has an NFC scanning system to the Dexcom Bluetooth system. The Libre, it also has a lower profile, so it's a little bit more subtle on the arms, and it does involve a lot less equipment setup. I was actually uh, pretty surprised by all the plastic involved with the Dexcom applicators. It was a lot of recycling. And then a final word about the Libre and about scanning. If you're someone who's been a long time user of the Libre, you haven't made the switch yet, you sort of kind of get used to the whole scanning ritual. It's kind of weird, I know, but it is what it is. So even though the Dexcom is a nice change of pace, and yes, I love that it's automatic because that's just one less thing for me to have to think about. The reality is I sometimes totally forgot I was wearing it. And therefore I forgot to log my food on the Levels app. So maybe the scanning ritual helps remind you of that. Maybe you need to set up a reminder, Katie. And finally, we come to one of my favorite topics of all time, price. And as I mentioned in my first Levels video, way back in December, guys, it's been almost a year, there is a yearly membership fee just to join the platform. So it's $199 to be exact. And then the sensors are going to cost you extra another $199 per month for each sensor. Both of the sensors cost the same price. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you, probably know how I generally feel about subscriptions and membership fees. But at this point, pretty much all of the top CGM companies have gone the way of memberships. We're talking Levels, NutriSense, January.ai, very stable. So yes, it is a big investment. And if you're on the fence due to price, then I would say maybe a think about your why first. So are you struggling with your health? Are you looking to make a change with your diet? What is the thing that's bringing you here in the first place? And then B, think about the how, as in how will you actually implement an action plan around your data? Because all the data in the world can be so useless without actually having something to do with it. What is it gonna teach you? And how are you going to improve your health using some of these numbers? So hopefully, when you ask those two questions of yourself, they can help guide you on the timing and then which company that you ultimately choose to go with. Having tried all of the CGM services out there, I still think Levels is the most comprehensive and user-friendly one out there. And there's a couple of reasons for this. First being the user experience. I mean, they have just made it super easy to log and track your meals over time, to even compare your data between different meals and different activities. I love that they have this easy to read daily summary email because, well, we all sometimes forget to check our scores from the previous day. And then finally, in case you have a random question about the sensor or your data or Andrew Huberman, Levels recently added a new chat feature so you can actually message their team directly. 
And then you will find that when you click on the question mark at the top of your settings page in the Levels app. And then finally, well, I don't think there's another health company in the space right now that actually offers Dexcom as an option, aside from Levels. Please quote me in the comments below if I'm wrong. Because most platforms are running off the Freestyle Libre system only, which is fine, but my God, it's nice to give people a second option and for the same price, add to that the fact that it is only $1.99 a month. I know it sounds expensive, but if you Google it, the Dexcom normally costs like $400 a month, at least most pharmacies in US. I don't know about elsewhere, but at least for the time being, I will say that Levels seems to be the most affordable place that I've found for the Dexcom, and I will just leave it at that. Turning now to just a couple more quick levels updates. You may have heard the word. Yes, the company has officially moved out of the private beta, which means no more wait lists. So pretty much anyone who lives in US can join through their general website. And I will link that right here below and in the show notes as well. They've also rolled out a couple of other health services that you might wanna check out, including a metabolic blood panel. So this is gonna test for 11 different biomarkers, things like your cholesterol, your A1C, and it's gonna include an at-home blood draw. So you don't actually have to spend any time driving and going to the lab and filling out all the forms. I would definitely say, check it out. If you haven't had blood work done in oh, a little while, doesn't mean you shouldn't also get a full blood panel done but this is a really nice kind of starter point and all the data goes right into your Levels app. So you have it forever and ever and ever. Anyway, I will include it in uh, the show notes below if you wanna check out those resources. And uh, that's it for now. I think I'm gonna keep these sensors on for a little bit longer. You know, I've really been loving all the extra attention I've been getting. <laughs> True story, I was walking up the hill today. Somebody was like, what are you wearing on your arms? I uh, obviously should point them to this video if they wanna learn more. Anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you found this helpful. Please leave a comment below if you're planning to try one of the two CGMs, if you've already tried both, what you think. We'd love to get some discussions going in the comment section below. And until then, it is uh, so great to be here with you guys. Sending you lots of love and we'll talk again soon. Until then, I cannot wait to catch you on the next one. It's like 90 degrees in here. I better turn this off. I think my camera's gonna die. Okay. <laughs>